caught in the crossfire. Hello everyone, Michael here and welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm finally back with another city update that's been quite a while and the background is also back, yay. I have finally uh, gotten around to fixing it with my dad and thankfully it's back and we don't have to look at the stairs and everything. Yeah, that's not quite fun. Anyways, let me just bring the camera down for the suspension. So it'll be easier for me to talk about stuff. Oh. Okay, that's it. Oh, that's better, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, there's a little crack there. I might fix that later. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Some exposed wires there from Project Operate from Operation City of Lights. I'm currently in the middle of kind of a crisis with this row of buildings. You see, having not having enough LEDs to cover every single building in this row now that I've made the uh, shop of miscellaneous things a lot bigger. And I'm actually, as you can see, in the process of adding a third floor. Now, it'll, once it is finished, it'll be by no means the tallest building in my city. Um, the new record holder is, by the way, the uh, new 2022 fire, um, sorry, police station over there that I have installed and reviewed previously. And, but the tallest point of the city is just the phone tower. You can see it's pretty tall. It's like a foot, I think. Uh, right there, we've got a worker who has been working, as his name states, and he's been taking down that billboard since, according to the actual universe, universe that's going on in uh, Brick City, uh, Happy World has closed down, and being... And has been turned into a power plant, so there's no reason for that billboard to be there. There's gonna be a new billboard there very soon. Anyways, right here we've got the train that I've had for very many months. I got my self propelled uh, car over there. And as you can see right there, it is transporting a big battery somewhere from the power plant. Just to point out, this might be a long video because there's been a lot of stuff since the last update. Got a lot to cover, okay? So let's just move uh, the train out of the way for a bit so we can look at the new stuff um, right here. The auto parts shop. You can see I am current. Uh, well, there was a guy here scraping out the graffiti, but I don't know where he's went. Probably has something to do with my sister, as always. Um, the generator is always in. Ooh, what's this over here? Don't remember seeing this in the last update. That's because the last update was about the school there. But this is definitely something new. Let's take a look. Now, this is actually an extension to the auto parts shop. What happens to this part of the world? Has it gone? I don't know. I'm gonna have to fix that later. But this is just uh, the wheel storage. So we just take a peek in there and take off the roof. There are some wheels that have fallen off. Give me a second. All fixed. And we got a bunch of wheels in there. We got small wheels. We got medium wheels. We got large wheels. We even got tireless wheels. All the wheels you could ever want the auto parts store on next door however there is also an extension a whole other floor to the special transport agency now of course it's still being worked on for like about a month now there's nothing in it there's also no roof something i definitely need to fix um after i'm done with this video Oh, and over here at the train station, there's also been some modifications. As you can see, there is a proper uh, 
pedestrian bridge. So you don't just have to walk over the rails. And if you need to get to the other side when there's a train there, you can just walk over this. Now, I did kind of maybe steal this from the Lego Hogwarts uh, Express set. But, you know, well, let's not talk about that. You can see I've added lots of new cars. A lot, a lot, a lot of cars. That is a car from a friend's set. That is the G or Toyota GR Super that I reviewed with the little McLaren Elva. We got the trash truck from the 2022 police station. We've also got the 2020 ice cream truck, the street sweeper. Uh, we also got the fire um, uh, buggy, I guess, speeding to the rescue over there. There's actually nothing there at the moment, but there will be something there in the future. You just have to wait and see. But you know what? I think the road is really starting to come together. I just need to fix that little uh, rail crossing over there and also this one. They've both been kind of bothering me for the last uh, month or so. But anyways, moving on over here, as you can see, I've added the new fire, uh, I keep calling it a fire station, police station, is oh, wait, it shouldn't be that far back, it should be right there, oh, I, the reason I said oh was, oh, was because I was waiting for that big window piece uh, all day, it turns out it was just under this car, but it just, kind of fell off while I was filming my movie. By the way, it's coming out on January 24th. Let's go! But no spoilers, though. And as you can see, I've also made it back for the bike shop from the shopping street set that I reviewed like two months ago already. And I think I'm really happy with the result. I mean, the slant on that roof, oh my gosh! I'm so proud of myself, but as you can see, the tree in the jail yard also has no leaves, like all the other trees, except the palm tree, because they don't really have leaves. Anyways, moving on, uh, we got some stuff in the park over there, I can't get over there, so I'm just gonna have to really zoom in, and in the park, as you can see, I've been extending it out uh, with the path, and I've also added a tiny little pond for feeding ducks. You can see there's a duck right there. Actually, I don't think, my, I think my finger is too big. Let me just use this random stick. Uh, right there, that's a duck. And there's also some foliage back there. Nice uh, shaping for the shape of the pond. And yeah, that's it for the pond. This now isn't the only city I have. I mean, it is the only city I have, but it's not the only place where I'm building stuff for this city on this table actually something back there where the scp foundation's testing area was now let's go check it out right here now i'm sorry for the mess i am currently working on it i might even add a background here who knows as my channel keeps getting bigger and bigger i make i keep doing better and better things Hopefully this will be one of them. Anyways, right here we have an energy plant for the city because obviously where are they gonna get the energy from? I understand that I could have just made some solar panels over here, could have been done with it, but I only have two big solar panel pieces. <laughs> Wait, what? What did I say? Play that back? I'm, okay, I have no idea what I said, but it was definitely something weird. <laughs> Anyways, oh my gosh, look at that. Uh, my backyard is currently filled with snow. Yes, it's very, very fun winter wonderland for me here. Anyways, this is a energy plant where they, the minifigures get all their energy. It is still a work in progress. However, I have been working on it for the past, I don't know, three weeks. So that's why it's full of so many things. But I've been working around the fence. Got um, representation of some access inside. I should probably use a sticker on there saying restricted access area only uh, from my sticker collection over there. Anyways, right here we have a big old smokestack letting out all the unneeded things that I always see in energy plants slash refineries. 
that I pass by whenever I'm driving in the car. And we just have oh, some more tanks and stuff. Nice pipe over there. Even nicer pipe here. Oh, why are you falling, camera? Please don't fall. Uh, we got uh, a lady banging on the pipes there. Uh, maybe she thinks she's like a wheel wheel tapper like they have in england they don't have those in america i don't think so but they do have them in england because they have a lot of wheels and they have a lot of trains man i really really want to go to england anyway setting all my personal uh wants aside i got a bunch of workers here working on making a bunch of energy and i just put a bunch of random uh, industrial looking stuff around the place just Randomly scattered a bunch of stuff. Nice pipe there. We also got a guy here transferring some kind of liquid from that giant cylinder thing into a little barrel over there. And right here we have the main like energy core thing. As you can see, we got two crystals in there. Uh, the blue one is representing good energy, and the green one is, is intaking uh, used energy. To go throughout the whole thing and go back to the green uh, blue crystal and it goes out over there to the city uh, right there and yes has a nice bubble protection on it and there is a very important sticker over there saying danger because those crystals are dangerous and highly explosive uh, right there we got a guy delivering a tank of octan something i don't think it would be fuel it would probably be something else but i can't be bothered to think of that right now there's an illegal building technique called the lego <laughs> i'm kidding uh legal building techniques they are definitely illegal like they do put, they're called illegal because they put stress on bricks and they might break. But it's not the first time I have broken bricks. Yeah. Uh, a couple of bricks broke while I was building my Lego Titanic. And there was just a broken uh, brick that came through one of my orders. I just had a giant piece of plastic sticking out of it. That was not fun, but I used an illegal building technique there where I used the one by two by five uh, clear thing and just put some one by one round flat tiles in there and I think it looks quite nice it represents some like water or energy charges I guess something and we also got um, a rat a rat a rodent a very potent rodent <laughs> A roadie rodent. This rodent's gonna hit the road! <laughs> James Road. <laughs> Anybody get that? Did, did anyone get that Avengers reference? No? Okay. Uh, it's the creepy old mouse mold, which I do not like at all. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That was it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy it. The subscribe button is coming out of the smokestack. By the way, you should hit it. it really helps. All right, road to 50. Road to 50 subs. Woo! Anyways, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.